Hello everyone and welcome back to my Air Hauler 2 series in X-Plane 11. Here I am doing my check ride in my newly purchased Piper Cheyenne 2. This was a little while back. This is when the astronauts were coming back on Dragon 2 from the International Space Station. So you see that video in the bottom corner there, though I won't play the audio from it. That's why I'm not playing the audio of the plane right now. And so I'm just going through the check ride to get checked out in the Piper Cheyenne 2, which is a beautiful plane. This is by Caronado. And uh, yes, I'm going to be continuing with x 11 for a while, even though I've got Microsoft Flight Sim. And that's because I've got these nice planes in x 11. So even though the scenery might not be quite as good as in Microsoft Flight Sim, the planes are really nice. And, uh, you know, I, I pay good money for these planes. You know, this, the 727, 757, and a few others. So I will enjoy them. And uh, here I will be enjoying them and making money with Air Hauler 2, which I also paid for, after all. And Air Hauler 2 charges you for your bases and your planes, you know, the upkeep and all, uh, and the AI pilots that you have, even when you're not flying. So, you know, I have to make some money here with the Air Hauler 2 stuff. Uh, otherwise, they'll just keep charging me and my company will go bankrupt. So that would not be good. We wouldn't want that, would we? So here we go, and in fact, I run Air Hauler 2 fairly frequently without opening x 11 just to manage the AI pilots. So it's sort of a management software. So here I've got a mission from uh, Marysville to S-70 in Washington State, and that's to carry tools, as you can see there. So 1,600 or so, 667 pounds of tools. And the Piper Cheyenne 2 can carry a much heavier load than my previous planes, which was the uh, Cessna 172 and the Velocity V Twin, so that's why I got it. And of course, it just looks beautiful. It's a beautiful plane. And so there's our load. And one flaw with Air Hauler 2 is the fact that we have to input the masses uh, instead of it doing it automatically as uh, FS passengers used to do. So that's a little bit of a downer. But anyway, it works out fine. And I'm sort of messing with the GPS there. I'm actually going to use GPS and autopilot and everything because I like doing that with the Piper Cheyenne 2. And here we go taking off. I'm sorry about the sound, but uh, in the later flights in this video we'll have sound because I won't be watching the video down there. And so this is all done during a live stream. And here we are taking off. It's a fairly heavy load, so it took take a little bit of time to get off the ground compared to the check flight. And here I am messing with the autopilot, just sending that on and figuring out how that works. Once we get some more planes in Microsoft Flight Sim, I'll be trying to get planes that I don't have in x 11 so that I can feature those in particular. I'm not going to look for duplicates, so this will be where I do the Piper Cheyenne 2. And honestly, you know, the landscape doesn't look too bad, right? I mean, yes, it's not Microsoft Flight Sim, but it's still quite beautiful. And that's obviously thanks to the US Ortho Photos by Forkboy2 in this case. I didn't really pass by any spectacular sights on the way there. I sort of took a path on east, along Eastern California and Oregon, and I'd missed Mount Shasta entirely. But on the way back, we'll be passing a little bit closer to Mount Shasta, not very close. Anyway, here we are landing in Washington at S-70. I don't know what the name of the airport is, but here we go. How's it going to be? It does do damage if you land rough. I, I figured that out the hard way later on in the video and it costs money. So anyway, this one was OK. So no problems and we taxi. And I get to an arbitrary parking spot of my choosing. And there's a car. <laughs> there are cars here too. And we offload the tools. There we go. Now it's actually in a different dialogue that I didn't quite capture there. And so we can finish flight monitoring and that's the end of that mission. It gives an applause um, sound clip. And we go on to our next mission. Now, at S-70, it's an awkward place. So the best thing I could find was this place in Oregon, OR-07, that needed to send DVDs back to Marysville, KMYV. And so that's the mission I took. After a relocation flight, that was in the dark, so I didn't bother uh, to record that. 
I went ahead and took off from this airstrip OR07. Uh, in full disclosure, it was a rough landing with the uh, uh, during that nighttime relocation flight, but uh, not rough enough to cost us too much money. Let me put it that way. Anyway, so DVDs, it's a fairly light load, and here we go. Now there's going to be endless comparisons between Microsoft Flight Sim and X-Plane 11, and I'm still going to be flying both for a little while at least. And one thing that sort of grates on me in Microsoft Flight Sim, even though I love it to death already, and I'll be flying a lot, I have a long list of things I want to do in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, one thing that grates on me is the G1000 cockpits and how many of them there are. And how many slow planes there are actually also, because I like going fast. But you take a look at this uh, cockpit in front of us I've already mentioned. I, this, is, this is the kind of panel I like looking at. I like the dials, I like the analog stuff. There's GPS there, I mean that's there too, but I'm not a big multifunction display, you know, glass cockpit kind of person. So, and there's a lot of that in Microsoft Flight Sim right now. So I'm hoping for the add-on planes that'll give us more variety in that respect, especially. But yeah, and here we go. Oh, I've got some uh, ATC. I got an ATC plugin. It doesn't do the ATC thing where you communicate with it. Uh, Microsoft Flight Sim definitely is much better on the ATC stuff than x 11. It's non-existent in x 11. Uh, but yeah, uh, those clips are nice. Anyway, just for background noise. Well, while chattering away, I missed pointing out Mount Shasta, but you saw it. And here we are landing at uh, KMYV with our load of DVDs. And that's a pretty good touchdown right there. Okay, it was smooth. Good times. Alright, so next up, after we uh, go off to park, we have another job to do. At KMYV, there is a load of building materials, 1,700 pounds. And we're going to OL7, a zero L7 with it, and that's in Nevada, pretty close to uh, to Las Vegas. It's a, the city Gene. Oh, and I also bought a new base. How about that? Uh, Ellensburg, K E L N, in Washington. It just so happened that one of my AI planes landed there for a job, and I thought it'd be a good location. Also, uh, I've got this sort of the uh, woman's name thing going, Marysville, Ellensburg, so I went with it. Uh, so, and it was a fairly cheap one, it seems to have a good runway and everything, so yeah, now we've got two bases, but that just means extra cost. So anyway, building materials from KMYV uh, to uh, 0L7, and that's the, a heavier load than we were carrying earlier with the tools, and here I am taxiing out to the runway at KMYV. And on we go. One change I will be making with x 11 is I'm going to get rid of some of the scenery that I had, the photo scenery that I had for some of the peripheral area areas that the photo scenery wasn't really very good in anyway. So I'm probably not going to visit them anymore. I'm just going to focus in the areas that I had really good scenery in and yeah, just fly there. And it'll be more uh, mission based flights like uh, air hauler flights rather than trying to do sightseeing flights, because sightseeing flights I'll be doing in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, but the sort of practical business flights like I'm doing right now in the air hauler, uh, I want to focus on those, and so I'll just get scenery in the areas that uh, are relevant for that. There's Mono Lake as we're crossing the Sierra Nevadas on our way to Nevada. Uh, very nice view there. So yeah. Uh, I'll sort of focus in instead of having scenery all over the place. Though still, round the world flights will be better in here for a while because, you know, I got the Concorde, I've got supersonic planes, a lot of supersonic planes to work with here, and I like going fast around the world. Uh, going around the world taking a long time can be tedious sometimes. Well, at least in certain areas, so. Yeah, but I expect probably circumnavigation not only uh, in here and also in Microsoft Flight Sim at some point. Yeah, that will happen. My, uh, circumnavigation is sort of my thing. 
I like doing those. To a large extent, that's because they lead you to see things that you wouldn't otherwise see. If you're just sightseeing in certain spots or you're just flying around your local area, you're not going to get a grasp of all the in-between places, if you will. I don't want to say flyover country, but you get the idea. So you never know what you might find, especially if the scenery is very good fidelity. Leads you to have a better sense of things. Now, this, I made a little mistake there. I stalled right on landing, and so it's a hard landing right there. So that was a little bit rough. Well, okay, a lot rough. We are going to have to look at our maintenance report. So yeah, taxiing off there. But we, we got paid a, a certain amount for this building material trip. But that's going to be outstripped by the cost of repairs, as it turns out. As I park there. And yes, wonderful job done. That's great, but... As I've unloaded that, and I finished flight monitoring, and very hard landing there. Uh, vertical speed is 676 feet per minute, it looks like. And yeah, 20% damage there. And you won't see the damage dialog, but at the bottom, the company cash is 515,000, looks like right there. It's a little bit fuzzy for me. Uh, and I try to repair, I click repair. And after I repair it, you see it's gone down by like 30,000. So it costs about 30,000 to repair it. So basically that job uh, we lost money on. So I'm going to have to make up money uh, for that. And I have picked up a very lucrative job to do that, 46,000. But it's a long flight from uh, Scottsboro to Ellensburg, our base up in Washington. So uh, look for that in the next video. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.